yards. Turn right onto Warwick Castle Drive. Past zebra crossing, okay. he said. Oh, this is the playground, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, look. Look. I wonder if there's a maze because it's got to be a maze. Hey. So you can have your photo done. Smile. Hang on, let me move back a bit. Hang on, don't move. Smile. There you go. Sit. One. Did you do it, Scar? Yeah. Yeah. What was that, Summer? Dragon and <laughs> <laughs> Dragon. The bottom of the hill, turn left and try and make all the dragon rolls. There's a maze down here as well, I think. Now come and jump on this. Go on, Dale, jump on it. Go to the next one, is it? Towards the small pod. Mm. Are you going to stay there a bit? Mm. 
Are you right there, Dilly? Oh, Then off and off you want to do this one? Go on then, get ready then. You got a summer? That's it. Wash my colour. Come Scarly this way then babe. We will in a minute when we come back through. Sorry. Scarly, look. <laughs> yep. What, darling? Go on, do it then. Oh, you have to stamp your passport. You didn't get one. Is that a different one or is that this? Not this, is it? Well, I will take both of you. Okay, Jake, take it first. Have we lost him? Ah, you little bitch. Scarlet, this way. Oh, Scarlet's going through there. Can you dip through that? Dilly? I know, right? Because I'm weird. <laughs> Where have you got to get the next stamp from? Oh. Yes, Dallin. Oh, well, thank goodness, history's back in order. Great job, thanks. I should stop. 
Ready? 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 <laughs> That's it, it's the exit. Is that what you said? I seemed scared. Yeah, yeah, no, you see the castle. What's that in? You're going after. Look at this one. Wait, I'll be No. Stop that, That's bigger than your shield. Yeah, me too. Oh yeah, look, it tells you here. Go on, go with Daddy. Freddie, hold her hand. Oh, it's too, I've got glasses on, I can't see. Oh, okay. Go here then. Thank you. 
active service between 1950 and 1960. He sustained injuries during the Battle of the Somme. That guy there. This Winston Churchill. Heading to Russia in 1917 to witness the revolution and the rise of communism. Lord Brooks was a man that wanted adventure and believed war was a glorious thing. He was in the men in 1928, but he passed away after years of physical and psychological suffering. You're okay. I'm on you. Get him. There's a lot of stairs in this place, isn't there? Is that a bathroom, is it? Get him. Bedroom. It's a maid. It's a maid. Maid, over there. It's a maid. Oh, isn't it? It's fishy. Who's this fella? So he's got his bath in his bedroom, look. the bed is. <laughs> Imagine climbing in that. Look. In a hot water bottle. Yeah, grandma's got one of them ones, yeah. It stays warmer for longer. Here you go, look. There's a fire extinguisher. There's a fire hose, isn't it? This way. Yeah, what would you say? Yeah, look, Scotty. Look, look, these are the toys. Look, you can get to play with. These are the, these are the toys. Posh bedroom, isn't it? Oh, that's a nice breeze. Look at that. Look. The water actually looks kind of fun. That's your water. There you go, look. Yeah, it's my pocket. Uh, these are uh, stained glass. So them sort all their knives still there. It's like Game of Thrones, isn't it, over there? <laughs> yeah, that one there. Yeah. Yeah, you got that scotty there? Look at the window. See what you see out the window. So you can see the window. So you can see if you find any water. Oh, water. Look at that water. Look at that. Ew. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Quiet. That was around around me. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? It's stuffed. It's a real animal. Hang on then. Hang on. Edward, Prince of Wales. Yeah, this is a hot water bowl. Imagine this such a bedroom, look, and you get to look out up there.
Here we are, going back what way. Oh, we got. We're going down, are we? This is a spiral staircase. Round and round and round. Just think how much easier life would be if you had lifts. Yeah. <laughs> Jump and step. The toilet. Some of the toilet, baby. You've been there, girl. Huh? Seats. You have to get up these steps. What's out there? Nothing. This one. My yesterday. Okay, we're going to do this in Walk some more. Look at all the owls, Scully, in the wall, look. Like bullet owls. Come on. Come on. Come on. It's my feet. It's fine, baby. It's just some spiral stairs. Uh, um, archery, yeah, they like to do a bit of archery in that there. Yeah, no, well, show me. That's where they pour the water out. No, that is where they pour tarm, oh. like tarmac. No, my. But then back in the days, it would have been ruled by like soldiers. It would have been a fortress. Yeah, I'm behind you. Keep going.
greatest knight. From the spoils of war, he creates a masterpiece, a permanent testament and monument to medieval glories and a turbulent past. The year is 1356. The Black Prince and his trusted ally, Thomas Bijan. Where are you? Known to his opponents as the Devil Rock. Just seeing you. You can get out of the other side there. Mm -hmm. It's not like that is just like that. Can you have a look? Let me see. Can you have a look, Quickly. You've got to hold on to these, um, things at the side deal. To be fair, it has to, it has to be something you're at, yeah, you're at the top. Can you have a look? Yeah, I can. Can you have a look? Yeah, I can. Can you have Should we, go, should we go, and go down this one? Should we go in here and confuse them? No, we'll just go down. I think you can go down, can't you? I know you're going to go up. <laughs> can I? Yeah, that one's alright. That one's got quite um, quite big steps, isn't it? Yeah. You can go down here, can't you? Yeah. Babe! We went all the way over there. Downhill bit, isn't it? Yeah. Scotty! Hello. Scott, Scott! Oh dear. Nearly. Nearly at the bottom. Can you see us yet? Can you see us yet? No. Right. Come in. Come in. Come in. You made it. Yeah. Oh, 
I'm about to get a, um, a beer on my back. A what? A beer. Dad. Mm. Um, um, when, when, when are you, can we go to a pig girl? Let's see, if, if you're a good girl. That's right. Over here, you've got the, the four stamp over here as well. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Oh, it was over there, Andy. You just saw the little waterfall. Yeah. Daddy. Scotty. Mummy. Yeah. Miss Scotty, see. Daddy, you remember the thing where we where we had to cross the um, bridge? Yeah. And we kept on jumping over there. Mummy came to the bridge to go. Yeah. Donuts. Good old donuts. Good old donuts. Yeah. Well, it's a year four thing there, but. Yeah, we did. What's this? Yeah. <laughs> That's right, stand kind of. Here you go, go to. Go this side, we got Lancarians. Come on. Keep going along, keep going. Right along. Okay. Remember the louder you chant the 
more soldiers you will have on your side. Let's see if we can gain you a full military battalion. Three, two, one! You lot, in the shade. I see you stand under the white rose. Does that mean you are all ready to fight for the house of your... But, do you think the house York is the best house that has ever ruled? And have you met your leader, Edward of York? Some of you have, they have down the bottom there. Well, I don't mean to intimidate you, sir, but Edward, Edward could cut you down in 20 paces without even breaking a sweat. And you, madam, Edward could raise you with one hand above the air and swing his broadsword with the other. And you, children, yes, Edward could raise you in the air, juggle you, and keep his horse at a gallop. the more soldiers you will have on your side. Welcome Three, brothers, welcome two, sisters, one. your house Lancaster. chosen mine. I, the Earl of Warwick, will fight alongside the true King Edward of York! So, arm yourselves and let battle commence! about the war, I was excited. To understand why, you probably need to know who I am. Well, how can I put this? I am a nobody. My biggest claim is that my grandfather was a page in the court of Henry V. I mean a lone page. So yes, I am the illegitimate grandson but when I heard about how the king had gone mad, how my house, House Lancaster, everything changed. Suddenly, I wasn't just a nobody. Fear in our hearts. Yeah. 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 
Wolf Queen. Whoever gathers more crowns will have more soldiers upon their side. Yeah. 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 pledges from the most loyal noble houses. Alexander said. Right through, my lord. Huzzah! Display. Let us set the crowns of flame. Rise! Yeah. <laughs> Still, there are a few undecided noble houses yet to pledge their allegiance. Both Margaret and Edward must now show their most impressive skill to gain support and amass vast forces. On my command, cavalry charge! Skill with a sword. Somerset, defeat these Yorkies, pigs, and gain us a fine army. The queen prepares to ride, but what will she do? Everyone was nervous. It was as if there was a storm gathering on the horizon. The fear seemed real. Something dark and heavy hanging in the air. Imagine the sea behind Edward. 25,000 men. Oh! The 
Next, our boat is set forward. They draw. Now Take cover! Yes. Thank you, God! Father is in luck, and the wind is on our side. And as our arrows rain down upon them, Margaret is charging early. Whoa. They say the sounds of charging are terrible. Thousands of boots rising oh, through the mud. Red, go, red, go, red, go, The thrust of daggers ripping through chainmail gaps. The fight was desperate, bloody, and exhausting. In the midst of battle, Margaret has told a message has arrived. My queen. Merci, my love. No. No! It cannot be! It was a separate reinforcement! Fresh troops there upon us! What can we do? Alele! We have no choice! Up there! We must flee! Margaret, behind you! And on that day, my father ordered that no quarters were to be given. We killed so many Lancastrians that the rivers ran red with blood! chosen for him. This is what is best for our country. Best for our country? Or best for you? Long have I pondered Edward's reasons for marrying such a 
commoner. One can only conclude that witchcraft must have been involved. Watch your tongue, Warwick. That is our queen of which you speak. Your queen, but no longer mine. Henry! Send word immediately. She has my full support. And so, the Earl of Warwick changed sides. Behind the back, he gathered money and troops and begged Margaret to return. She arrives without Van.
died in the court, and afterwards my guardians too. I have lost uncle, cousin, friend. Defeat means I get to live, but I still feel like I'm a part of something. Only this time it isn't war, it's peace. But for eleven blissful years, we have peace. We have peace! can only last as long as one man's lifetime. And as time dwindled, so too did Edward's health. And so, Edward IV, King of England, dies. Father! Oh, 
Thank you, my lord. Thank you, Lord Stanley. Stanley, get back here! Somerset be kind, he's oh, one of us now. Look at your king! You are my king no more! Richard, it's over. I will finish this myself. Give me your horse! Lord Stanley, give me your horse! Stanley, I said, give me your horse! Enough, Richard! Hold! Stanley, I said, no further! Surround him! Back! I am the true king! Quiet, now! Get down here! Quickly! Squires, cut off his retreat! Go! Lord Stanley, be careful! England belongs to me! Hold on! Hold it! You'll pay for this, Stanley. And to this day, the Tudor years are known as the Golden Age of England. My fellow Lancastrians, please put your hands together for my beautiful Queen, Elizabeth, and the Lord King. Lord King, let me hear you support of my husband, King Henry Tudor, and for the Lancastrians.
true stars of the show, the mighty horses! <laughs> And so, for one final time, as they leave the arena, please put your hands together for the Knights of Middle England! Huzzah! We Margaret on you, Riding Warrior! King Edward, Riding Dancer! And Lord Stanley, Riding Picasso! Elizabeth Tudor. Thank you all for your courage and support in battle. Please join us for one final huzzah for peace and the golden Tudor age. Huzzah! Commander to His Majesty King Edward. I could tell you of my adventures there, but today I wish to tell you of someone else's adventure, or rather a quest, that helped me rebuild Warwick Castle. I will tell you now of the Falconer's Quest. On my return from I saw a great need to replenish my collection of falcons, for I had taken many birds to them. One day, a young lad arrived at the castle. He was called Hobby, and he was the son of a local fisherman. Hobby was presented to me, and he told me that since he was a child, he had watched in awe as my falconers had reared and trained my birds. even on the darkest of nights. lived close to man for hundreds of years. With their heart-shaped face, they gather sounds and can hear the slightest movement of their prey as they fly silently. How could a fisherman's son ever charm a barn owl? But he did. I know this owl will bring me luck. 
On my quest, I will need to see like you, to hear like you. Then I can bring the birds back to Warwick. Come, my friends, come! Having won over the Barn Owls, his quest had truly started. Hobby left Warwick in search of more birds of prey. Crossing rivers and seas, discovering new lands, he saw a wondrous sight. Here in the northern lands, Hobby saw a most splendid sight. It was the largest bird in the land, a white-tailed sea eagle. Hobby had seen nothing like it before. He was so excited to see it in full flight, with its massive, long, broad wings. This was to be a test for Hobby. A test of courage to meet such a grand bird. This great hunter will feed on carrion, or they may steal food from other creatures. glorious sight of such a powerful bird. Hobby was honored to have met the sea eagle, and he felt great joy that this bird would soon grace the skies above Warwick. He reached a new land in the north and was pleased to find that the inhabitants, although strange in dread, saw a magnificent sea eagle. striking black and white plumage with a blazing yellow beak and talons. Self. Hobby searched the skies of this new land, for he had heard of a large bird of prey that is rarely found in England. Then he saw the largest owl he had ever seen, an owl the size of an eagle. This dramatic looking bird is a predator that will rule its land with an iron wing. Although naturally timid, they are a master at using stealth and silence to catch their prey. For hobby, this eagle owl seemed friendly enough, especially when offered food. With its distinctive eyes and pointed tufts of feather upon its head, Hobby was in awe. Hobby 
continued his quest. He Unlike other birds of prey that hunted alone, these birds worked together to stalk, chase, trap, and kill their prey. It was not long before he met these wolves of the sky. They were the Harris Hawks. Hobby found the Harris Hawks to be clever and great fun. He understood why they were so popular in sport and hunting. For many days he searched, until one day he saw an unbelievable sight. It was an Andean condor. Legend said this was the largest bird of prey in the world. On seeing this magnificent bird, Hobby knew this to be true. These predators of the sky were said to live for up to 80 years. of the air live in high mountains, open grasslands and along coastlines. They are not natural hunters. They like to scavenge for food. Claws are short, unlike an eagle, and they use them well to hold down any scavenged carcasses they feast upon. Hobby was amazed to learn that the Andean condor had a wingspan of over 10 feet. Hobby was ready to bring this. Suddenly, Hobby saw a striking looking bird flying towards him. It was a lamagaya, or a bone eating vulture. A bird that can soar over the highest and most desolate mountains of the world, scouring the land for carcasses and, most importantly, bones. They will carry off huge bones with ease. Bones that weigh as much as they do, fly into a great height, and then, with extraordinary accuracy, drop them onto the rocks below so they smash into tasty, small pieces, ready to be feasted upon. Found 
majestic old eagle, Hobby returned to Warwick and stood before me. He told me of his adventures, of the birds he had found. He reminded me of the reward he had wished for, to be my master falconer and care for the birds of Warwick. I reminded him that he also wished to see the skies above the castle fall once more with birds of prey. Both Hobby and I were rewarded. Once again, the skies above Warwick were full of many magnificent birds of prey, a sight that would indeed be the envy of the king. Warwick had a new hero, and I had a new master falcon, who was destined to protect and care for these beautiful birds. Hobby had fulfilled the falconer's quest. We have one world, one sky, and one future. Together, we must respect and cherish these magnificent birds. We hope you have enjoyed the Falconer's Quest. Until we meet again, my friends. Until then, farewell. Ladies and gentlemen, can we have a round of applause for the falconry team who've worked so hard to bring you this show? But of course, the biggest round of applause should go to the birds who have performed so wonderfully for you today. Thank you for joining us. We really hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Do it in a minute. I haven't gone over yet. Yeah, but when we finish the toy shop, where are we going? Yeah, we toy shop, toilet, and then yeah. There we go. Okay, see.